Here we go. New, 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 All right. I just have some breaking news. The wireless LEDs work with some toothbrush stands. Good. That's cool. That's important. Okay. Anyways, what's up first? Okay. First up, we've got a perf board and this is a weird perf board this is by request this is a two millimeter pitch perf board it is not 0.1 inch pitch it will not work with um, microcontrollers or dip chips unless you happen to have um cold war russian uh two millimeter pitch dips which is if you do uh, that's really cool they're very rare um, but this is useful for modules like xbs and like once in a while there's other wi-fi modules or dev boards that use two millimeter pitch and you're like i want to prototype with them this dead board will do it. If you need 0.1 inch pitch, do not buy this. Uh, we have ones in 0.1 inch pitch, but these are again, two millimeter pitch. Okay, next up. Okay, next up we've got from, <coughs> from Pimeroni, a uh, Pico LiPo charger add-on for the Raspberry Pi Pico, which adds um, a uh, LiPo battery um, and charging circuits. You can charge it through the, the micro USB on the Pico once it's soldered on. And uh, there's a cute on off switch. Um, and I have a little demo I thought I would show. Yeah. Yeah, this is, I'm gonna show how this is okay. together. Show a demo. Okay, so this is the the Pico shim. So again, it goes on the back of the board. That's clever. And in this case, we soldered it through, but you can also solder it like directly on. And then just one second, let me grab my micro USB. not correct okay. yeah gravity is still working here i know it in case is. anyone's wondering uh you charge it it uh turns red and then that turns off and then there's this cute push button switch with a, like an sr latch uh and you push it to turn on the circuit and when you see the white led it's on so it's cool. just a, an adorable little way to um Beep. you know you can still plug this into whatever yeah. you know where maybe you want a little extension cable a little extension headers um but you can also uh you can turn it on and off charge the battery Great. I think this will work especially good with the Pico uh, W, so you can make wireless projects. Rainbow Allens. Rainbow Allens. Yeah. You were asking about these. You really liked these yep. um, rainbow, which uh, ironic is apparently Adam Savage also highlighted a similar uh, Great set. minds think alike. Just coincidence. We ordered yeah. these many it's months It's really ago. good validation. It's, it's when you uh, know someone and you see that they're going to listen to a band or a concert that you like to, and you're like, yeah. that's cool. That's cool. So uh, we were testing these, and then we wanted to make sure they would work out great. And we, we do a lot of stuff before we put it in the store. Yes. And then- um, These are actually really nice Allen wrenches. Yeah, these are great. You should get these. And they're rainbowy. Uh, they're beautiful. And they come with a little like handle if you want to get a little bit more torque yep. on them. Uh, they're metric, but honestly, we kind of use these for everything. And they yeah. work wonderfully. They've got a shiny chrome finish. Uh, yep. Who doesn't love that? And of course, they are super rainbowy. Yep. Next up. Okay. Um, next up. Okay. This is a, an interesting, uh, weird thing. So I actually got this for my laptop. And then, because, you know, I have a, a Mac laptop that you, you gave me. Yep. And um, it's the one of the modern M1 ones, and so it has a USB-C port. It doesn't have a mag jack. And if you know, people know me, I'm clumsy. Things fall, things break, thing, you know, whatever. That's why I learned to be an engineer, to fix all the stuff I broke. Uh, so what's neat about this is, um, I'll show this also on the overhead. It's a USB-C right angle adapter that's also like a mag jack type, a mag, uh, mag safe adapter type thingy. Yeah. The end, comes off so this you plug this into your device and then it yeah. magnetically flies on and of course it's usb c so also good for little way. dev boards and stuff like that you can you can do a lot of things anything with usb c speaking of so USB for example and what i like is it also has a little indicator to let you know it's charging um if you wanted to you know of course you don't have to use it with a, i use it with a laptop but of course you can use it yeah. with your dev board and then you can easily connect it disconnect it yeah. uh to turn on and off your your electronics so you can see it turn it yep. on and then bam disconnect it so this is all all this does is turn um a usb into a right angle with a little magnetic jack it doesn't have any smarts in it it has a led and it can do 120 watts so it works well for laptops which is what i got it for but you can use it with dev boards as well okay next up okay speaking of power uh, this is also by request. We have a panel mount 2.1 millimeter, 5.5 millimeter 
jack um, it uses the um, panel mount system that I really like it's just a round one inch hole um, it means it's very easy to drill or cut into any material because it's like some panel mounts um, require rectangular or round or oval holes and it's like who's, who has time for that uh, round is best so um, go to the overhead I can show this real quickly you know, uh, by the way folks were saying that these uh, these magnetic things are great for the USB so USB-C soldering irons oh yeah that's a yeah, great yeah these are just a really like good idea. really handy yeah um, okay so this again you just cut a hole like in, in this case we have um, if you can cut in these little notches it just means it'll be uh, less likely to rotate a little bit I think if you line it up perfectly because there is a little bit of a, a grooving to it um, but basically you you know cut a hole and then what's nice is this lip is 30 millimeters and this uh, round part is like 23 um, so it covers up any rough edges on the cutouts so I remember like I was you making a uh, yeah. an arcade machine and it's like if you cut the holes and then there's a little bit of a, a lip to it yeah. Um, it makes for a very super nice pro one. super pro and then it's just an extension cord it doesn't do anything special it's just 2.5 uh sorry 5.5 outer diameter 2.1 millimeter inner diameter so standard dc jack okay uh next up we've got more cables similarly to that right angle jack um i'm kind of like the the magnetic cables have gotten better they now do power and data and uh, they're kind of advanced so this is a cable that it's both USB type A and type C. You can shoot, you know, you can cut this thing off or you can keep it on to make it one or the other. And on the other end is also a magnetic tip, which you can see on the next image uh, and also here. Yeah. So like that right angle adapter, um, this is a cable where this end plugs into your computer. You have Windows or PC, use the type A, you have type C Mac, type C, whatever, either one. And then on the end here, um, the, the magnetic tip comes off, so it makes it easy for you to, uh, you know, have this power, your dev board, and then here, I'll, I'll even plug this in, why not? I think this extension cord is working. There you go. Uh, there's a little indicator light, and then, uh, oops, let's see. So turn this on, so this is lit, and then I'm done with this dev board, or I wanna disconnect it without having to unplug, or I want it to just uh, have a safety, uh, release so that it doesn't the USB-C doesn't get yanked off the board um, just release it and replace it and of course it's USB-C so you can put it an upside down so a very nice just magnetic cable it's kind of your standard USB-C uh, yeah. cable but it's got a magnetic tip except and we also have just the tips so if you're like okay I want to have yeah. uh, different boards with uh, USB-C and I want to have one cable and then I can connect from you know one to the other um, we have just the magnetic tip part okay and start the show tonight besides you Lady Ada our team our community our customers all the folks who make this thing go is the TCA 8418 uh, breakout board which I'm really excited about because we started this design in 2020 um, and the chip was completely unavailable and then it became available um, so we are able to uh, finally stock this really interesting uh, GPIO expander and uh, keypad matrix driver. So it is an 18 GPIO expander if you want to just have like 18 inputs, outputs with pull-ups, you know, and, and interrupt output, then you can do that. But what's interesting about this chip is it also does keypad scanning. So it has 10 columns eight rows so it can do up to 180 keys and here i'm just demoing it with a simple uh three by four matrix keypad and it has a 10 um, element event queue so it can actually like you don't have to pull it constantly if there's key presses it will record the key matrix presses and releases for you and then you know whenever you get around to asking it over i squared c hey what key presses did you get um it'll it'll emit those key key codes and whether they were pressed or released and then you can um, use it with Arduino or CircuitPython. We have drivers for uh, both, so you can use it with any microcontroller. Um, and then another interesting thing about this chip is it also has uh, Linux kernel support. And so if you happen to be interested in like making a up to 80 key uh, keyboard for a single board computer, um, this driver chip, you can load it with uh, into the kernel using a device tree overlay. You can set up the key map 
and um, then you can use it as a native keyboard um, built into the kernel, which I think is kind of cool. That I'm going to cool. try that out. So here's the demo. I'll just show them the overhead real fast. If I can plug it in. I should have gotten this hooked up to my magnetic thing. Um, so yeah, so here are the columns. So there's uh, columns zero through nine, and then the rows are down here. Uh, there's two up here, row zero one, and then uh, through R7. Uh, note that you cannot change the row and column assignment. Like you can't make a column into a row, like there's 10 columns, eight rows, that's it. And then, uh, you know, I just happened to have a keypad. I thought it would be easy to wire this up. I just wrote a little example that maps the uh, key numbers to um, digits and displays them. And uh, there's also a debouncer built in. And of course you can mix and match. You can have some GPIO and uh, some keypad matrices. Um, just again, you know, rows and columns are, are fixed. You can't change whether a pin is a row or a column. Whatever it's labeled as is what it is. But it's a, a really nice little chip and um, does something that I haven't seen a lot of other, uh, you know, no GPIO expander that I know of other than like the um, HT16K33 does keypads. And even that doesn't um, have a nice event queue like this one does. And that's new products.